If you've ever wondered what goes on in a small bait company, then I invite you along on a normal shift for me here at Crappy Man Jigs. So on a normal day, I wake up at the butt crack of dawn to get my four boys up for school. Now, it's either gonna be A, I'm getting ready to go film a fishing video or go fishing, uh, have a teaching trip. B, we're headed to the shop. So I, I, try, I try to get my orders together. Or C, I've got some stuff either to do for my wife, go grocery shopping, etc. They get ready. I, I try to hang out with my wife in the morning, make breakfast, and then it's time to get my orders up and go to the shop. We, we try to be in the shop around 9 a.m. So I get to the shop, I start checking my orders. I write down if we have any weird colors that I gotta make or a bunch of something. So I can keep track throughout the day. I fire up the lead pot because jig heads are my number one seller. And normally if I have orders, I have jig heads to make. So I got, I try to shoot the jig heads before I shoot the plastic because the the lead pot heats up the shop and if it's in the winter, it feels good. And if it's in the summer, I want to get that done in the morning time. So jig heads are my best seller. So this is going to take a couple hours. But when I'm done with the lead pot, I try to bag up all the jig heads I need for the orders that I have. That way, I don't have to worry about that later on in the day. Now, it's time to shoot plastic. But before that, I try to go through what little inventory that I keep on hand and bag up anything that I've already got made. That way I don't make more than I need. I have a lot of small, small molds. Some molds shoot 10, some molds shoot five, and one, I think I got one mold that shoots 15. So if I have an order for 50 Crappy Man Green Little Minnows, I've got to make that five times. Just cause I'm a small bait company, doesn't mean I'm not busy with orders. Thankfully, I do have this YouTube channel and I'm teaching everybody that watches it how to catch more fish on my lures. I wouldn't be able to do this without you guys watching this video right now. So I thank each and every one of you because you keep me in business. You're out there slaying these slabs on my plastic and that is just freaking awesome. So I'm able to get business through YouTube because I show you they work and I'm able to teach you how to use them. You know, during the, the whole day, I'm either got YouTube video up using my Bluetooth speaker. You know, I'm, I'm not really watching the video, but I'm listening to it, or I'm just straight out jamming to some music. As the day starts to wind down, I start packaging up my orders, and this is probably the most time consuming part of being a bait maker, is packaging up your orders. You know, shooting the plastic, shooting the lead in the lead pot, it's time consuming, but the finished product going into packages, making sure the baits are as straight as you can get them in the bags, and just getting through your orders, that's the most time consuming part. So we get them all bagged up, we get every order together, and then it's time to head back to the house, get everything, all the shipping paid for, everything in the bags and it's time to go to the post office so that's really just a simple day in the life of a small small bait maker because in the scheme of things you know i've got you know some weeks i get a lot of orders and some weeks i may get one order but this company is what supports this youtube channel it supports my family I have a, a fairly big family and I'm able to pay for bills, pay for school things, buy the kids clothes, etc, etc through this company. And I've been in business for three years now and hopefully, hopefully it's just going to get bigger 
and bigger as with the YouTube because at the posting of this video we should be hitting 9,000 subscribers pretty soon so I'm excited for that I'm excited for what the future holds and thank you all for supporting a small business when you make an order and thank you for supporting me